In this wonderful new building, the Eckert Research Center, we will explore the universe like it has never been done before. And we will form an outstanding new generation of astronomers and astrophysicists. In the Eckert Research Center, having an opportunity to build brand new research laboratories from the bottom up allowed us to design laboratories with extraordinary controls with temperature, humidity, mechanical motion, and electromagnetic shielding. And with that in play, it lets us perform experiments that would be very, very difficult to do in other environments, such as measuring single electrons, single atoms, and their environmental interactions with the world. Behind me is the Pritzker Nanofabrication Facility, which you might think of as a modern machine shop of the new millennium. One of the wonderful things of having a facility like this is it's open to an enormous breadth of students, from biologists to chemists, to physicists, to engineers, all that can share common ideas and resources to work together to really focus on multidisciplinary efforts for future applications. And it's the sharing of facilities like this that make them so special. So our lab is on lower level two, which is actually almost four stories underground. Being right at the lowest level of the building is very good for us because the kind of work we are doing, vibrations are very harmful for us. The Solar Twin Planet Search is a research program my group has been pursuing over the last few years. So in my lab here in the Eckert Research Center, we're building an instrument called Maroon X, and it's going to be going on one of the six and a half meter Magellan telescopes in Chile. Maroon X instrument is designed to be able to find Earth-sized planets orbiting nearby stars in the so-called habitable zone, and then ultimately look at the atmospheres of those planets to search for signs of life. The architecture of the building is very inspiring. It has a almost telescope uh, sense. The office is open to the outside. And since we are astronomers and astrophysicists and want to understand outer space, this architecture is really uh, conducive for us to think both outside in terms of the universe, but outside of our traditional lines of creativity. So,